Hi, I'm Peter. Hi, I'm Isabel. Hi, my name is Ben. Hi, my name is Ale. And welcome to, to the University of Dallas. We are a private Catholic liberal arts university founded in 1956. Um, we have about 1,500 undergraduate students and about 1,100 graduate students. Campus itself, as you see it, only occupies around 200 acres, but UD owns a total of 600 acres. And we are located in Irving, Texas, which is about 15 minutes away from the city of Dallas. So what are you majoring in? Um, I'm double majoring in business and partying in the condos. That is when Dr. Roper is not there to crash it. Welcome to Cardinal Farrell Hall. This is our newest building on campus. This is the University of Dallas seal. It was a gift from the class of 2018. It says, very tutu jaisticium dilihite. And that means, love ye UD. I think it means something about uh, virtue. Something about justice. No, I took four semesters of Latin, and I'm pretty sure it means study, but like, have fun. Next stop is the statue of Our Lady of Guadalupe. She is the patron saint of the Americas, and she holds a special spot in our UD students' hearts. Students love to come here to pray, and several roaster groups also meet here as well. Quite a few couples at UD have gotten engaged here. Yeah, Rain by Spring is definitely a thing here. Right, and we've only gone like two days. <laughs> so are you a big coffee drinker? This is a cat bar. It opened in 1982, and it's been serving espresso longer than Starbucks. The prices are way lower than Starbucks, too, depending on what barista you get. Okay, that'll be $185. That'll be $185. Oh, no, $185. The cat bar is a great work center opportunity to relieve any of your financial aid burdens. So, how much do you get paid to work here? Uh, like $10. Oh, $10 an hour? That's not bad. No, no, no. Like $10 every two weeks. Ah, Rome, the highlight of the UD experience. Incredible history, beautiful campus with a vineyard, travels all across Europe. Too bad you won't be able to go because of COVID. This is The Rat. This is our only on-campus restaurant. Uh, wait 20 minutes in a basement here for the uh, best burger you've ever had. Another thing I love about The Rat is that it's home of Tidget. Well, used to be. Honestly, I don't think we've had a Tidget in months. But I'm sure it'll be back soon. Yeah, I don't think it's ever coming back. This is a cafeteria full of great food and friendly faces. In one of my labs, we tested different substances on campus for bacteria. Turns out, the ice in the calf contains traces of feces. Um, so are there any other places to find food on campus? Uh, yeah, actually there's a gas station across the street that students really like to go to. Are the prices good? No. Are the... No. Does he sell alcohol? Yeah! This is the mall. Everyone's favorite place on campus to hang out. Oh, look! Here's our student government president right here, Damien Walls. So, Damien, what has student government been up to this semester? Yeah, so we've been working pretty hard on a lot of uh, projects this past couple months. Um, What's your favorite thing student government? They're the ones who are doing Clash of Classes, right? I mean, that's been super fun. Wait, wait, that's Student Foundations. Uh, I mean, I can eat outside now. I think they do Sunday Sundays, right? Can you name one thing student government has done? Uh, student government? Wait, we have a student government? Okay, let's keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> Our students love UD so much that they stick around as long as they can. And there's so many ways to get involved on campus. The Student Foundation promotes the unique character of the school, bringing together the administration, the staff, the students, everybody, honestly. That sounds awesome. Can I join? No. There are so many great places to study on campus. The most popular one is the library. Different levels of the library have different levels of silence, depending on your preference. The third floor is a great spot for group projects. Yeah, you're not really supposed to talk here, but honestly, you'll be fine. But don't you dare speak a word in the periodical.
now we're coming up on the Church of the Incarnation, the heart of campus where the student body comes together in prayer. Yeah, so the church won an award for the 25-year Test of Time Award from the Dallas Society of Architects. Oh, it must be really beautiful then. Yeah, uh, it has a lot of character. Here at the Church of the Incarnation, we offer two daily Masses a day. Uh, depending on what priest you get, it can be anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes. You'll find lots of your friends and fellow students here at Daily Mass. Oh look, like our friend Faith Starnes here, one of the campus activity board interns. So has COVID affected any major student activities on campus? Yeah, last year we unfortunately had to cancel a lot of the events due to COVID. And many of the students missed out on some of the big traditions like Groundhog or Spring Formal in order to stop the spread specifically. Um, but luckily we were able to bring back most everything this year. And you know what? If I had a million dollars, I would give it all back to the university that's given me so much and bring back Tidget. UD hasn't made me a millionaire yet, but after four years of the friendships, the lessons learned here, and the memories, I certainly feel like one. And you know what I love about UD? I know I'm never going to be a millionaire, but I had a lot of fun here. This is a senior class signing off. Love you, UD. 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 Okay. Um, it has a lot of character. And bring back to Dick. Is my hair okay? Okay, go ahead. Sweet, blah, blue. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Um, awesome. Love you, ye do. Oh. <laughs> and it's mine. <laughs> but don't you dare speak over it. I can't do it again. I was trying to. I, was trying I can't to do it.